Let me show you how to read your kick chat over your gameplay if you're only using one monitor. So that way you don't have to use your phone to read your chat anymore. First thing we need to do is get our hands on this free tool, which I'll leave linked in the description down below. And we're going to ignore the fact that it says Twitch chat overlay because we're going to be using this for kick and I'll show you how. But we're going to scroll down to where it says installation and usage and download the latest release from this little link here. So we'll click that link. This will bring us to the latest release, which in this video it's 0.9.4. But for you, it may be different depending on when you're watching this. So just download the latest release by scrolling down and we're gonna go to assets and click on Twitch chat overlay installer.exe. There's a lot of very specific steps in this video, so don't skip around the video. Otherwise, you'll probably miss a very important step and then you'll complain in the comments, Cody, why isn't this working? I'm calling you out, Fortnite fan 69. Now we're gonna run the exe. We're gonna accept the agreement, click next. We're gonna install it to our program files, click next, click next again and install. Now we're gonna finish and launch the overlay. This is what the program looks like on my very messy desktop but there's a few very important things. The first thing we're gonna do is click this little settings button, and this is gonna bring us to our settings. This is built for Twitch chat, so we're actually going to ignore everything on this chat page. You can click the general tab and see some more options, but we're actually not gonna mess with any of this as well. We're gonna focus on the widgets tab. So in order to get our kick chat to show up in this piece of software, we need to get our hands on a clean kick chat. If you've seen my other kick videos, then you should be very familiar with Botrix. If you haven't seen my other kick videos, I got a whole playlist in the top right corner for you. I'll also leave this linked in the description down below so you can easily follow along at home. If this is your first time, then you might be alarmed that Kick is not an option to log in, but that's fine. We're just going to log in with any of our accounts because we'll get access to our Kick account after we log in. So I'm going to log in with my Twitch account. Then on our profile tab, you can see our platform is Twitch. So we need to go to Kick. And if you're not already linked and logged in, just link and log in with that. Then we're going to click the little green settings by Kick. So we are changing the Kick stuff as indicated in the top left corner. Now we're going to go to the Widgets tab and then we're going to scroll until we see the chat widget we'll click that now you'll see the preview of this kick chat widget and you can see that it also contains your twitch channel your youtube channel and trovo channel but if you just want to use it for kick you can just actually disable the other options here so now it'll just show our kick chat and if you want to have both your kick chat and your twitch you'll just enable twitch go back to your profile make sure that your twitch account is linked so it has access to your twitch chat but we're focusing on just kick right now so you can choose whether to hide the bot messages better twitch tv emotes hide all messages you can customize it how you want here. You can even change the pattern or basically the style. So if we choose default, it looks like this with a little black background so you can easily read it. If you choose side, then it's going to be transparent, but it's going to be pushed over to the side, which is kind of a pain in the butt because it's not perfectly lined up. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to do default because it keeps it nice and lined and uniform on the left hand side, as well as having a background, because if you're trying to read transparent chat over your game, then it's probably going to be a little difficult depending on how bright the game is. So we're going to stick with the fault. So now we're just simply going to click the widget URL, click copy. We're going to go back to our desktop. We're going to open up the tool. By the way, if you want more helpful videos like this, make sure to drop a like on the video so YouTube recommends more of me to you. Go to settings and then go to widgets and then we're going to paste this widget URL we just got. We'll click on create and then we're going to click save. So this is very important. So please pay attention. This is for the normal Twitch chat, which it's normally used for, but we're not using it for the Twitch chat. So we actually don't need to worry about this. So don't close it. If you you close it and you hit yes, it's going to close our kick chat as well. So we're going to reopen it. It's going to reopen both our windows, which is nice. At least we're just going to minimize it. And now this is our kick chat. Let me show you that our kick chat will show up. So I got my creator dashboard open on kick. I got my kick chat allegedly right here. We're just going to type in testing type in hi YouTube and see our messages here for you. If you right click and go to zoom level, it's probably going to look like about this. And so you can drag it by the corners or you can drag it by the sides and just kind of customize the size to your liking, but we're still not done yet. So pay attention. So this part's kind of annoying, but if you right click on this black original one, you'll see that toggle borders is F9. And what that means is if you click on this one, press F9, it gets rid of the borders. So you can't interact with this. So that means the chat will appear over your game, but it won't mess you up if you accidentally click on it. So if you want to get it back, you press F9 and it doesn't work. Why is that? Because you have to go back to this, make sure that this is selected, press F9 and it's back. However, you know that we don't want this up here, right? So we're going to minimize this and this button does the same thing. So we're going to put the chat where we want it. Likely you're going to want it. I don't know. In one of the corners, I'm actually going to drag this down and I'm going to put it, let's say right above my webcam in the top, right? We're going to click this little hide border button. So that way we can't interact with it anymore. And now let's bring up a game. But if you don't like the position, 
captioning of this, just re-click this, make sure that's enabled, press F9, and then do it again, press F9 again, and then you have your borders back. So otherwise minimize and then hide the border. So let's go to Steam and open up a game like Hollow Knight because this is also super important. You can see right off the rip that it's working, but it's only working because our game is not in full screen mode. It's technically in borderless full screen or borderless windowed mode. So if you go to your game, you don't see the chat over your game. It's because you're playing in full screen mode. So we go to video options or graphic options. You can see we're in borderless mode. So if we click right, this will be like windowed mode. And you can also just play it in full screen technically like that. So this would work too. But borderless is going to be your best option because it mimics full screen mode. However, if you notice, we're going to change it to full screen, changing it right now. Okay, where'd the chat go? It's because you can't play your games in full screen mode, but you can play in borderless full screen mode. So just play your games in borderless window, borderless full screen, or just windowed mode. If for whatever reason, this tool like glitches out on you and you can't like find it when it's open like this, then you'll go to the bottom right corner, click this little arrow. You can right click on this little Twitch chat overlay bubble. You can either click reset window and that'll pop this back up. Or if you want to close it and it's not letting you close it, just go here and then right click and then click exit and then yes. And you can try a combination of things like that. But watch these other kick videos to the side of me. They're going to help out your stream so much. My name's Cody and I'll see you in the next one.